I'm Adam House. I, uh, I'm a big fan of um, the work that the volunteerism, voluntarist uh, type of activism that's been done under the Freedom Line heading for a while now. In 2011, Adam Kokesh was doing the Veterans for Ron Paul. In February of 2012, on President's Day, uh, he helped host a march of Veterans for Ron Paul uh, marching on the White House in D.C. And basically the idea was that we marched in formation in front of Obama's White House and turned our backs and rendered a, a a salute, you know, with our backs to the commander in chief, because of you know all the deaths that had been caused since he had become president and said that he was going to end all this shit. I was medically retired for combat post-traumatic stress disorder when I got back from Afghanistan. And uh, one of my buddies that had had similar issues as I had had in recovery, had been doing really well for a while, but unfortunately looks like he took his own life. You know, he, he didn't win that battle with PTSD, as unfortunately so many of our vets have not. One second of silent prayer for every soldier who has died abroad, let us pray. Um, that was the month before the march. And, you know, if, if I hadn't already decided I was going to participate in the march at that point, just by virtue of being a, a veteran and a Ron Paul supporter, I certainly was then. And I, I saw Adam Kokesh out there, you know, was just one of several people um, that I thought was doing the right thing, maybe trying to draw some attention to some issues that, that mattered more to me than um, just the normal you know, run-of-the-mill rhetoric and hyperbole we get from our politicians most of the time. Do not think for one second that you can silence this voice. Do not dare whisper the command to silence this voice if the voice of the people is not heard and the voice of the troops is not respected. We will be back. These veterans aren't going away. Yeah. And if you should decide that you can allow just one of these people here today to suffer for exercising the rights that you swore to defend when you took office, if we are denied the peaceful change that we demand, I promise you this, we will be doing things the hard way. The first speech that I ever saw Adam give, he specifically pointed out that uh, you really need to do your own research and think for yourself and do your own homework and don't be so quick to look to other people to lead you, you know, lead yourself. The Freedom Line and, and what may, you know, the things that are going on with the Freedom Line right now is exciting because you know, we really are at a time right now, I think, when so many things are changing. The old politics, the old right-left politics is just, it's so irrelevant in so many ways now. It, it's so obvious. So many people are catching on more and more all the time. You know, freedom is about more than just um, getting rid of bad laws and bad governments. Freedom is, is really, more than anything, it's always going to be a state of mind. So, first and foremost, I think you have to be free in your mind. And freedom as your, your individual freedom to live your own life, to enjoy what the revolutionaries, the American revolutionaries would call the blessings of liberty, and to pursue whatever it is, your own happiness and life, um, 
to me that's just the greatest gift and no god or government has any right to take that away from any of us. We are here demanding peaceful, orderly change through the ballot box. We are gathered here today as active duty service members and veterans exercising the right to self-expression that we have all risked our lives to protect. Yeah. Something you've never done in uniform. Yeah.